Welcome to the webinar. I'm Lori Burns, an EAL Support Specialist. This webinar is part of the Language for Job Readiness series. For this webinar, we're going to focus on professional introductions. Let's get started. The objectives for this webinar are to recognize the importance of a good introduction, identify some common professional adjectives, and create an elevator pitch. When you first meet a person, they draw conclusions or make judgments about us, usually within 30 seconds. We try to make a good impression, especially in the workplace. One way we can make a positive impression is by thinking about and working on our professional introductions. What information do we want to give? How do we want to be perceived or thought of? What conclusions do we hope the person will make? These are questions we'll think about in this webinar. Of course, no introduction is the same for everyone. Depending on who we're talking to, our introduction may be different. You will need to think about what introduction is suitable and adjust it depending on what you need to do. There could be a short version, a long version, an elevator pitch, or just a quick hello and your name. We'll examine each of these introductions in the slides to come. As a note, formal and informal communication can be part of a strong introduction. NSCC has another recorded webinar on formal and informal language that you can watch. Go back to the YouTube channel and look for formal and informal language. What information should you include in an introduction? That will depend on what kind of introduction you are doing. If you are short on time, you will need to think of a short introduction to get the key information about yourself out. If you only have a brief amount of time at a job fair, for example, you will need a short and accurate introduction that gives a greeting, your name, your occupation, or diploma degree. You may also want to include your interests. If you are having a one-on-one -on -one meeting or conversation with someone, a longer version might work best. For a long introduction, you can include your name, occupation or degree, special skills, work history, key accomplishments, background, projects, past employers. Let's look at some examples. Here are two sample examples. I will read each example and you can follow along on your screen. You can see that there are many more details in the long version. Hi, my name is Lori. I'm an EAL support specialist at NSCC, and I am interested in learning more about your employment opportunities. Hi, my name is Lori. As a certified TESOL professional, I am currently an EAL support specialist at NSCC and am passionate about employment language support. Previously, I worked for ISANS, where I was a team lead for the English in the Workplace program. I've been enjoying my role supporting students at NSCC, but would be interested in learning more about your employment opportunities. So, what is an elevator pitch? An elevator pitch is a brief, think 30 seconds, way of introducing yourself, getting across a key point or two, and making a connection with someone. An introduction is just a way of introducing yourself. You might not be trying to sell yourself or really highlighting accomplishments. An elevator pitch is a short prepared speech that is used to create interest in a project, idea, or a product, or in this case, yourself. This is about 30 seconds to two minutes maximum. It must be interesting, memorable, and brief. Try to think of a way that you can stand out. Here is a template you could follow to create your elevator pitch. Greeting, hello, my name is, I am a, year in school, studying major at NSCC. Goal, I am looking for internship, full-time position at employer name. Interest, passion. I am interested in 
interests related to the company or industry. Strengths. I have many skills to contribute, including strengths and skills. Brief example of experience. Previously, I worked at employer name, where I, achievements or responsibilities. Question. Ask a question to keep the conversation going. Follow up question. What information should you include? Elevator pitch, your name, what you are looking for, summarize your skills, key accomplishments, the most interesting things about you, a quick hello, a hello and your name and greeting to start, enthusiasm to be here. This could sound like, hi, my name is Lori Burns. I am an EAL support specialist at NSCC and I am so happy to be at this conference today. Introductions via email. Include an informative subject line. In four words or less, summarize the reason you are reaching out. Use an appropriate greeting, something like, dear, name. Find out the name of the person you are contacting. Mention how you got this person's contact information. The receiver of your email might be a bit confused if you don't specifically mention how you found their information. State why you are contacting them. State clearly and plainly why you are contacting this person or what you are inquiring about. Tell the recipient you look forward to hearing back from them. Put a small amount of pressure on the receiver to respond to your communication by letting them know that the ball is in their court and you are eagerly waiting. Include signature and contact information. Sign your name at the end and include all appropriate contact information. Let's look at an example of an introduction in an email. Notice the subject line, greeting, and closing in the email. The received, Madeline, will understand what the email is about, and the opening and closing lines are formal and professional. Now look at an explanation of how Amanda got Madeline's contact information and the details of her request. This is an appropriate introduction to request information from an individual we don't know. Amanda's tone and language is formal, so we can assume she doesn't know Madeline at all. She also takes time to introduce herself, so we know this is a new contact for Amanda. Listen to me read the following elevator pitch. It provides a good template for an example elevator pitch. Follow along with the script. Hi, my name is Hannah and I am a third year business major at St. Mary's University. I am interested in international relations as a possible career and I see that you are offering an internship. In addition to taking classes, I've spent my time volunteering with ISANS and working with newcomers to Canada. This internship appeals to me since it relates to my university and volunteering experiences. I think I would be a great fit for the position and I look forward to learning more. Would you mind if I forward at you my resume for consideration? Thanks very much. Here we see the main components of the elevator pitch. Hannah introduced themselves, gives a brief explanation of skills, their interests, work experience, volunteer experience, passion, and goals. What Hannah wants out of the conversation. Using the previous slide, try making your own elevator pitch. There are many available resources for NSCC students. Please take some time to explore them. Visit the NSCC EAL page to view the schedules for upcoming EAL webinars, to book an appointment with an EAL support specialist, and to use the EAL guide for additional resources to help increase your language learning. You can find all of these resources on the Learning Supports Connect page and link on the screen. Connect is NSCC's internet and requires your NSCC W number and login. Thank you for listening. References.